Okay, so right now what we're doing is we're just stripping, uh, well stripping is, you know, pulling, pulling out <laughs> these hairs. This is a face stripper, so this is a stripping knife, but it's made for the face, like in between the eyes and doing these fine areas. Um, but the reason for this is if we just, like I used to do, if I just snip this right there, bam, then all this dead hair that I'm pulling out would have been left in the skin. And so now it's, it's actually pretty good. Before there was a bunch of hair covering his eye right here. And you see a little, like the skin is kind of clear and bald now. But what we've done is we've now cleared out that dead coat that was all packed in there. And now the skin has room for the new hair to grow in nicely. And we always want to pull in the direction that you want the hair to grow naturally. So we're going to pull in these directions. You're just trying to get the dead hairs. That's going to come out easy. You're not trying to get all the hairs and pluck them like a chicken. And then these days I've been noticing here as well. Usually when it gets really brown and just a bunch of, it gets really thick there, we just snip it off or shave it. What you're doing is you're leaving all those, all those uh, hairs that was in there, you're leaving it in the skin. And it's detached from the root, so it will eventually push out, but you know, over and over again, repeated five years. You know, the first time you do it, it may not, the skin will deal with it. But repeat that process for five years, and then you have a big problem. All these skin issues start to build up here, bacteria, and that starts to affect the gums and the teeth. Once you have nasty gums and teeth, that actually starts to affect the kidneys and the liver. Once you have bad liver and kidneys, that starts to affect all the other areas in their body. So this is the importance of proper grooming, is that it's, it's not just about how the dog looks. How the dog looks is just icing on the cake. How the dog feels and you know how the skin feels and just everything working properly is actually going to spill over. The positive, positive effects of proper grooming spills over to all the other areas of their life. They run better, they feel better, they, they behave better because they're comfortable. They're not going to jump around and be all sensitive when you touch these areas or the feet because they're comfortable. Um, I mean, just everything. Later on, they don't have all these lumps and bumps and skin issues. They don't have all these allergies you gotta take medicines for. Um, just, I mean, the benefits are just, <laughs> I, I can't go, I can't even list all the benefits of proper grooming because there's just too many. And I think the most important one is how the dog feels about the relationship here. This is, you know, this is bond. This is a bond, this is such, a trusting, loving relationship because I spend the time and I, I, I go through and he sees me putting in the effort and the time. Well, I forget who said it, but the greatest gift we can give anyone is our time and our attention. So let's go ahead and stop preaching and do the haircut. <laughs> Put this and then that. Look at the grooming tools more as a groomer's chisel or a groomer's uh, paintbrushes. And they all serve different purposes. They all, you can use them for all different things, but these are all essentially carding tools is what they are. They all serve the same purpose. It's to remove dead coat from the skin. How you use it and when to use it would depend on the circumstances and the, the end goal that you're trying to achieve. So we're always working towards the end goal, always moving with the purpose and doing things towards you know, getting that end look, that, that final look that you want. And so for the short summer puppy cut, we're going to do a two, a two comb, which is a comb guard that is uh, 3 eighths of an inch or 10 millimeters. So, and this is made by Wall, I believe, it's a snap-on comb. So, and I'm going to use a 10 blade underneath by Andy's Ultra Edge. I'm not promoting any of these brands, it's just what I'm using. Again, these are just tools, you know. A groomer's tools, uh, a, a really good groomer that I, I remember saying, Scott, Scott Wasserman, he's a terrier king, I think. Anyways, he made a great example. He's saying the groomer's tools are like women's shoes. You can never have enough. <laughs> okay. Just as long as I follow the angles and the natural structure of how he is, uh, how his, how his bone is made, how his, how his body is made, then you know I really can't go wrong. As, I, as long as I groom to structure. That is a lesson that we learned at the, I think it was Christina Pulaski, Chris Pulaski, uh, excellent groomer. She's probably one of the best and a great person too, but 
Yeah, she was saying that if you groom to structure, you can never go wrong. And she's also the one that pointed out, you know, always move with the purpose. Everything we should we do should be done working towards the end goal. So, um, you know, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, I would look her up, Chris Pulaski. She's an amazing groomer. All right, so we went ahead and went down this way to get the nice angles. And then we went down here this way and into the thigh, the inner thigh here. And then here you just want to blend out just like that. And then the tail, we can go ahead and shape the tail like that, like that. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. And don't be afraid to cut. If you're going to go into there, if you're going to go in there and cut it, you got to go in there and cut it. Can't do it timidly or hesitantly. Plus, that's going to make the dog feel nervous too. If you are hesitant or timid about it, imagine a dentist coming at you with timid hands. That would freak me out. <laughs> so, anyways, you want to be um, deliberate, deliberate about it deliberate in everything you do. Just everything you do should be done with the purpose and the dog will feel it. But if you start to feel unsure about what you're doing, if you start to feel hesitant, nervous, it's best to just step away, put the dog down, just take a break, both of you. Shoot, everything about the man has gotten better. I mean, he was already such an amazing inspiration to me, but man, the stuff that he writes, the stuff that he he shows us, oh my goodness, the man's a genius. Here's my theory on why Cesar Milan is a genius. It's because he notices everything. He is completely in the moment with the dog and he, nothing gets by the man. I mean, Weemi, like his, his eyebrow, he could be here doing grooming here like I was and Weemi's eyebrow will go up and he'll say, oh, see that something, you know. <laughs> The man is a genius because he notices everything. He's completely in tune. You know, he doesn't miss a thing. And he, he allows the dog to teach him and tell him what, the, what they need. And he provides them with what they need and fulfills their needs. And then once he does that, he gains their trust, respect, and their love. And he gets a balanced dog. And the things that he's teaching actually Helps, helps me become a more balanced person. So anyways, a little tribute to Caesar Milan. <laughs> okay, so we have now set the length for the body. And the legs we want to do a little bit longer than we did on the body so that it doesn't look uh, like he's on chicken legs or anything. It'll, it won't look Unproportionate. It'll look nice and balanced, like he's on nice sturdy legs, by leaving the legs a little fuller. So, that was the two comb. And then, what we're going to do is do the legs with an O comb. And the O comb is uh, 5 eighths of an inch, or, what is that, 16 or 18? 16, 16 millimeters. So it's not that much different. This is a 3 eighths, this is 5 eighths, this is a 10 millimeters, this is 16 millimeters. So it's not that much of a difference, but it's enough to give the effect that it's all one length, but you know, it's not, it's not as short. So here's what, here's what it's gonna look like. If you notice, I went reverse um, against the grain on the bottom here, on the bottom and the inside of the leg, it's okay to go against the grain and then go back because we do want it a little bit shorter back there. But on the front and side of the legs, we're gonna go with the grain because we do wanna leave it a little fluffier to make it look, make it look fluffy. And when you lift the other leg up, it helps them keep that other leg solid on the table. So. And see, by doing that, it does shorten it up a little bit, but it does leave it a little bit fuller. So you got a nice full leg. And rather than a skinny leg, it, it could actually be right down in there, see? So anyways, 
We're not looking to take a lot off either, just enough. So it's not about, the goal is not to chop off as much hair as we can. The goal is to just chop off the hairs when we need it. The head we're gonna do, I'm, you don't have to do these sizes, but um, I'm gonna do the head with the A comb. An A comb is three quarters of an inch. So compared to the two comb, if we look at it like that, it's uh, much longer. Compared to the O comb, it's just a little bit of a difference. But still, that little bit of a difference is gonna make a little bit goes a long ways. It's all about the little things. Okay. And we're gonna do a teddy bear type of head, so we're gonna go against the grain first. And then we'll go with the grain. And you can definitely do it the same size as the body, the same, uh, same length as the body, same length as the legs. It's all personal preference, really. The dogs don't care how they look. They just want you to be happy. <clears throat> Let's just say that you do make a mistake at home. You're grooming your dog, and you make a big mistake. You make a chop right down here, or you, know, you, forget, to, you forget to put the comb back on, and you just run down the top of the head, boom, you know, and you make a race line, race track right there. Uh, it's okay. It's going to grow back. And what you have to remind yourself is the dog doesn't know that you messed up. For all he knows, that's how you wanted it. So then you can just tell him, hey, that looks so fun. <laughs> that looks so funny. It brings out your fun personality. You're such a funny boy. And the dog, he's going to wag his tail. He's going to love it. You know, he's going to think he did such a good job. But if you look at him and just, oh, look at that. I ruined you. And every time you look at him, you cry and you share this bad energy this negative energy, then the dog is not going to know why. He's going to think that he's done something to upset you. So if you're grooming at home and you make a mistake, just make the best of it and try to improve next time. Hi, baby. Okay. <clears throat> so just to demonstrate, we'll have uh, three different shoes. This is a very long, uh, curve shear. This is a short straight shear. This is I think a six or seven inch uh, curve shear. So just to demonstrate it doesn't matter what you use really. It's just using it to help you see like you know achieve the end goal that you have in mind. So first we'll use this curve shear just to as a demonstration here. Up down here, and you can use clippers, you can use scissors, you can use your teeth actually. You can get, just get in there and just use your teeth and pull it out of there. It doesn't really matter <laughs> <laughs> as long as it looks smooth and you know you, do, you achieve the end goal. Okay, and what you're doing is you're laying the scissors flat on the table and then turning it a little bit so it has like a 45 degree angle. That way it creates that little bevel for you. And then I usually pick the foot back up and clean up because once you set that length, when you set the foot down, you'll see the shape. Once you see the shape, you can tidy it up from underneath. Okay, so uh, we talked about the hygiene issue here, leaving this tip here as a wick. So what we'll do is we'll just cut it right in half, right about there. And then we can go through with the comb and pull out any loose dead hair. There we go. Here you go, honey, let me touch your face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I show my wife affection? Not that way. <laughs> and the way you hold them is very important. If I just go like that, that draws a reaction back. You know, it's kind of like if you push someone, they, you get that reaction back. So you don't want to push or anything, but you know, just kind of gentle suggestions, you know, like that. Don't make me. <laughs> no, <I'm scared. laughs> But yeah, the way we touch them is very important. You know, you don't when you touch them, it always you always want to convey gentleness. You know, calm, confident. 
the three C's of grooming calm confident and caring and these are not things that you just automatic you know you get one day and say I achieved calm confident and caring and that's just who I am now it's, I, it's more in my opinion something you work on and these are things that characteristics that we want to practice every day especially when grooming our dogs is becoming calm confident and caring Look at it, he's yeah. falling asleep. Good boy. Yeah. I mean, okay, so um, this is just something that I've started doing because uh, after I got his hair cut at a barber shop one time, uh, he had a little nifty blowing machine in a, in a vacuum that actually vacuumed all the hair off of me. And other places have these blow, blow dryers and they blow all the hair off and it just helps with the itchiness and all that dead hair that's in there. So that's what I do now. One more final. I want ice. You want ice? Okay. Well, Daddy's trying to. Daddy's trying to be a star. <laughs> no, I'm <just> kidding. <laughs> Daddy's trying to get famous. You want ice? Okay. Give us like two minutes. Two okay. minutes, and we'll get ice. Okay. okay. Then ice. Yes, then ice. Okay. I love you. Okay. <laughs> so to not comb out my daughter's hair, not comb her hair, or brush her teeth, or take care of her, uh, would be horrible. Okay, we're gonna get two popsicles for you. Oh, wait. Right. <laughs>